Hi guys and welcome to our review of the Hyundai Creta. Now this car was launched back in 2015 and is massively popular in India because in fact it is made in India. Yes, even the car that we get, not in Korea, it's made in India. What is it? It's a compact family SUV, crossover if you like. It's front wheel drive, it's got a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine in the front producing 120 to brake horsepower. That's good enough for a top speed of 195 kilometers per hour and zero to 112 12.1 seconds. Now it's based on the same platform as the Kia Soul. And in fact, within the same family group, within the Hyundai group, it shares its platform with the i30. Yes, the same i30 that sired the N, which is being raved about in certain channels. Now, I've always struggled with the name Creta. It's supposed to be named after a Greek island, Crete, and uh, also the idea is to suggest creativity. The funny thing is that in the Dominican Republic, they've called it the, uh, the, the Cantus, and the reason for that is because, well, uh, Creta over there means, let's just say it means lady bits. Anyway, uh, the styling, it's not as exciting as maybe some of the other Hyundai's currently out there, but it's okay. It's uh, inoffensive and it's handsome enough, reasonably looking, reasonable looking lines, and certainly fits in with the Hyundai SUV family. Comes in three flavors. The base model is the uh, 11-GL, which is uh, 57,540 dirhams. Uh, works out to about $15,700, all of these prices, including VAT, by the way. And then you move up to the 12-GL, which is 60,900 dirhams, $16,600. And this range topper, of course, the GLS, which is 71,820 dirhams, which is about $19,600. It's very well equipped, uh, even as standard. You get um, stability control, tire pressure monitoring, uh, keyless entry, and cruise control. Although, having said that, I can't find the cruise control, not even on this range topper, which is also supposed to come with, or in fact does come with, I have checked, Isofix child seat anchor points. Uh, it's got LED headlights at the front, I believe, uh, split folding 60-40 rear seat, and uh, rear camera, a nifty little touch screen, and artificial leather. Yes, it actually says that in the, uh, in the uh, price listing itself. Well, I tell you what, let's check out the interior of this car, starting, as usual, with the boot. No power jiggery pokery here, just a little handle or a little switch under there that releases the boot. And uh, it's quite a big boot, as you can see, quite spacious, not too bad at all, actually. And the uh, floor is in line with the uh, lip of the boot, so you don't have to go over a ledge. Although it is a little bit on the high side, but it's not too bad. There's two little pockets, that side and that side. And as mentioned, we have split folding uh, seats there. Uh, there is actually a power supply back here, believe it or not. And of course, uh, little lights. There's also little hooks on the back here for netting and stuff like that. Under here, you get a full size uh, spare tire. So that's quite handy, complete with an alloy wheel, actually, it looks like. Toolkit, and there is a little bit of a room around here to stuff uh, bits and pieces as well. So reasonably practical. I wonder what the rear space is like. Let's go find out. So here we go in the back. Ah, it's not too bad, actually. Let's close the door. I like that little bit of a garnishing surround on the speaker there. Uh, room for a bottle in the pocket and a little bit of extra room there. There's another little tray over here. Uh, otherwise, not too much back here, really. And uh, the, the, the knee room is not too bad. As you can see, there's plenty of room for my knees. And the headroom, too, actually more than enough headroom in here. I could wear a top hat, I think, pretty much. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I do have a little bit of a problem down here, just with this hard bit here, which is just uh, my, my shins there are just sort of digging into it a little bit. But plenty of wiggle room for your feet, that's for sure. It's just that bit there. Otherwise, it's not too bad at all. You don't get much back here. You get two AC vents. So that's quite handy, but that's about it. No power supplies or anything like that. Let's have a look at this armrest, which has basically two cup holders. So there you go. There's your lot. And as I mentioned, just to confirm, it does have Isofix baby seat anchor points. But you know what? It's time to get in to the front. And the child locks are on. Here we go. I did manage to get myself out of the back because I'm not a baby, I'm an adult and I figured it out. I just got out through the other side. 
Anyway, here we are. Take a look around. This is the Hyundai Creta. And as I said, it's got a starter button on this range, uh, top of the range car. So here we go. Let's start it up. As you can see, now you can see that the, uh, the only the center bit there is digital. Um, I press this to get the, uh, the center screen to work. I can scroll through using this lever here and you can see things like, you know, I'll get 8.2 um, liters per hundred out of it, fuel economy, not too bad. And press the button again and you can see servicing and settings and all the rest of it. So that's quite handy. Uh, these are the controls for that. That's the controls for the stereo. There's your wiper. There's your light switches. Down here is the light for the instrument panel and the headlight uh, controller. This is for your mirrors and power folding mirrors. That's handy in those car parks, isn't it? Keep your mirrors safe. Uh, electric windows, door pocket down there. Uh, but for the life of me, I can't find the cruise control buttons. If you can find them, let me know where they are, but I can't find them. Anyway, down here you've got a little compartment, put phones and stuff, that's handy. USB, aux power supply, and a lighter as well. A cup holders, cubby box, glove box in there. A slightly different bit of trim. Trim is not too bad, it's a bit plasticky, a bit hard, but you know, it's about what you'd expect. It's not too bad. This is the artificial leather, well, it does say that in the price list. That's that, but again, it's, you know, it's presentable. It's got a little bit of piping thing going on, so that's not too bad. Uh, climate control, as I mentioned, over here you've got uh, a touch screen, so you can go into that, you know, and literally you can touch it, you see, and you can even move it around, I guess. No, you can't. Maybe. Oh, yes, you can just do that. Anyway, that's that's what that is. And of course, you've got your six speed automatic. And talking of which, I think it's time to go for a drive. So it does have a, a sequential mode on the uh, gearbox. There you go. Change it up like that. There's no flappy paddles. The only place you might find flaps is perhaps in the name. Anyway, so uh, here we are. And you know what? You may be thinking 1.6, 120 horsepower doesn't sound like much, but it's just, it's not a big car. It's not a heavy car. So actually it's about right. There isn't really an issue at all. It's a bit noisy, as you can hear, if you really turn on the power. Uh, or if you really put your foot down but you know it's not too bad and the other interesting thing is that the ride is quite good on this car Ooh, this is not the one i was looking for so let me just go around again this is not uh next round right yeah so this is a wouldn't be wouldn't do to drive into the sand it is only a front wheel drive despite the way that it actually looks so yeah uh, as i was saying the ride actually is surprisingly good for a car of this type and then you have the handling steering i mean a little bit of understeer but reasonably tight and just after the understeer it kind of tucked in a little bit so not too bad but overall it's a car that is surprisingly uh, handy to drive quite convenient to drive the main thing about it is that of course it's a city car so around town it's got good visibility all around. Of course, it has a reversing camera on this range topper, but you don't really need it because actually uh, there's no real issues with it. Maybe the C pillars might cause a little bit of a blind spot, but other than that, you don't have a problem. Uh, compact size, so easy to maneuver, uh, quite uh, agile in car parks and tight spaces like that. Not really a problem. Steering is reasonably responsive. We're not talking sporty, but we're just talking very usable and very user friendly. So there's no issue there whatsoever. And uh, otherwise, like I said, the handling, the performance, you have to work at it. So you know what? Just think ahead, think carefully about what you're doing, where you're going, when you need to overtake, when you need to accelerate. Just think ahead a little bit. But like I said, around town, not really a problem. Brakes, not too bad. Uh, quite consistent, quite linear, and a good uh, level of uh, bite as you go down. So uh, none of this like, uh, you know, where you, you can't find the bite until you get there or anything like that, generally fine. And uh, let's just throw it around this corner again. Uh, that camera is going to go a bit wobbly. But yeah, just really putting it on its door handles and powering it through is actually quite game. It's game. It's like, yeah, yeah, bring it on. I can handle it. I can handle it. Not my normal forte, but I can handle it. And again, just go around it. Slightly faster sweeper. Yeah, quite a bit of body lean, quite a bit of body roll. But holds on, the grip is there, the tires are doing their jobs, the car's body control is keeping its poise. So generally, not too bad at all. So there you go. There's our review of one of the biggest selling Hyundai's in India, the Creta. 
and uh, yeah it's not too bad for the money you can't really complain I think that's the main thing to say and uh, if you're looking for something that's reasonably handsome reasonably well equipped you don't equipped you don't need cruise control um, but everything else is there and uh, you're looking for something between 50 and 70 grand uh, dirhams that is then uh, actually this is not a bad car to be looking at not a bad car to be thinking about so there you go there's our review of the Hyundai Creta I uh, hope you liked it let us know what you thought of the car and the review in the comments below and elsewhere and please do follow us on motoringme.com and on social media that's Facebook Instagram Twitter and of course YouTube and if you're following us on YouTube then please make sure that you like share and subscribe and whilst you're doing this social media stuff Check me out, man. Check out my uh, check out my Instagram and follow me there. It'd be great to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one.